Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. You'll excuse me if I have chocolate around my mouth or my teeth, because Constance has just been feeding me chocolate all morning. So <laughs> thanks again for having us out. It's like an art gallery in here. It's actually beautiful. Um, you guys have a lot of incredible pieces for Valentine's, right? Oh, I'm so glad that these holidays exist because it gives <laughs> yeah. us a chance to be really expressive about, you know, we get so sad after Christmas. You make so many beautiful things for Christmas and, and there, that's sort of a, there's an, an ambience in the air that only comes one time a year and as soon as it's over, but then we have Valentine's mm -hmm. and we can start all over again by making things we only make this time of year and we forget how much we love them and how much we miss them other times of the year until we start making them and this, the scents are wafting through the, the kitchen and then we get to have you know the bad ones so mm -hmm. we get to eat them yeah and, and obviously like chocolate is the best time of that best part of valentine's day i think well you know there's of course there's the, the meal and the roses mm -hmm. and the flowers and we do make chocolate <laughs> roses like we think yeah. how can we imbibe chocolate into everything you can eat chocolate for dinner you can have it as a box of chocolates but uh you know we're all about chocolate so of course we're biased and no i want to ask you this every time i come here and i think it's really actually very important to talk about but what makes your chocolate so special well, we use all natural uh, ingredients in our chocolates. Uh, some, some others may uh, use pre-made ingredients, so we strive to, to work uh, and know sugars really well with gels, marshmallows, mm -hmm. caramels. Uh, we do make our own chocolate on site as well from mm -hmm. cocoa beans. Uh, we don't use it for all of our chocolate, but we do have a dedicated line of chocolate bars and some other items that we use the chocolate for. Um, our ingredient combinations and how we style is very unique to this shop, and of course using as much local ingredients as possible and fair trade and organic as possible as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of that combined makes us uh, very quite unique. And then we have our own molds. Like we, we've been creating uh, very distinctive molds with our Golden Boy mold, our Canadian Museum for Human Rights mold, and, and our, our bars are designed by, by ourselves and molded uh, specifically for us. So we're very unique in Canada for our chocolate. And you know what, I'm telling you, you can actually taste the difference. It's pretty, like it's, I don't think you could, but you can actually taste the difference between something you buy here and something you buy in like a grocery store. Well, fair enough. Like it, that's good, that's good, that's confectionery and mm -hmm. that there, there's a place for that too. However, if you if you are using really good quality chocolate, you want to have it with, with whole foods. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, and also you just, you're tasting the chocolate, but you're also tasting the banana, the raspberry, the, the fresh fruit that you're using to make uh, with the chocolate. And, and all around the taste experience is it has been elevated for it and uh, and we strive for that we we we, we live for it yeah. Now, I want to give our viewers an authentic Constance Pop experience, which is when you walk in this store, Constance will literally take you by the hand and show you every piece she's got here and just be so enthusiastic about it. So you're going to do that for us right now, right? Okay. okay. Let's do it. Show us what you got. Okay. Well, over here is our center table, and we have, um, we always put our chocolate bars and our barks in the center table. So right here, we've got our matcha tea with, with um, fresh cocoa nibs, nibs on top. This is part of the cocoa bean that we have on top of the water. Of the, uh, white chocolate matcha tea bark. So we've got everything that you see here will not be replicated in our chocolate bars or in our bonbon line in our showcase. We have fun with cocoa butter colorings and and we can like spray the chocolate and we 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 splatter the chocolate the inside of the molds to make to make our to make uh, various designs that we do. <laughs> what would you um, be giving to your Valentine this I, year? I think, I think probably the passion fruit one, just because mm -hmm. the image of passion. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's really uh, delightful. It, it's, it makes a person feel instantly happy. Mm -hmm. And and I think, I think at, at the end of the day, if chocolate serves to do anything, it ought to just imbibe joy into someone's uh, uh, soul. And so I, yeah, I think if I had to just narrow it down to one, it would be probably the passion fruit heart. Awesome. Well, thank you, Constance. We're going to head back into the kitchen later on in the show. We're going to talk to one of her chocolatiers, Kim, and check out some other fun stuff they're doing this February. So stick with us here on Go.